Right now, Bell County and the city of Temple have both declared a state of disaster, which is actually going to help with recovery. There's no question that the wreckage left behind is devastating. There's a lot of new information coming out about the extensive damage the city of Temple and neighboring communities are dealing with tonight. Six News anchor Bailey Bates joining us live from downtown Temple, where a roof of a very popular restaurant completely collapsed. Bailey. Yeah, Lindsay and Chris, we're bringing you a inside look, a live look of what Pignetti's in downtown Temple looks like. And as you can see, there are several crews here cleaning up this mess. There's four large dumpsters outside. What happened here last night was so much rain gathered on top of this roof, the ceiling of this restaurant and not help with the wind. Of course, it all came tumbling down. It washed out this entire restaurant here. Wine bottles are shattered. There's wood and air HVAC air ducts hanging from the ceiling and it's just quite a mess. That's what many across Temple are dealing with tonight and this is just one of the many businesses that are has been impacted by the storms yesterday. City of Temple leaders held a press conference, their first pe press conference from the storm to give some reassurance to the city of Temple of what comes next. Oh my God. <laughs> Central Texans reeling as destructive storms create heartache. We're a resilient community. Temple Mayor Tim Davis providing a sense of reassurance for citizens as the damage comes full picture. Even though property damage was extensive, uh, the most important thing, that being the lives of our of our neighbors, um, where uh, everyone seems to be in uh, in good good order there. Assessments from west to south to east Temple are underway. We had. Uh, over 500 homes and businesses uh, impacted in some way, shape or form from uh, minor roof damage or uh, tree damage to uh, major structural uh, damage and, and uh, potentially even destroyed the structure. Over 30 injuries reported from Wednesday's store and many people being forced to find shelter elsewhere. We have opened a shelter location at the Wilson Recreation Center at 2205 Curtis B. Elliott Drive. Encore says restoration is in progress, but not everyone will be back up so soon. Just because our uh, infrastructure and our equipment has been fixed, yeah. some houses will not be able yeah. to receive power after that. Uh, some houses will require uh, private electricians to come in. Uh, they will also require, in some cases, city inspections to be done. Crews and first responders asking you to stay home to keep the area from being gridlocked and slowing down the process. You were slowing down first responders and you were slowing down various service providers who are trying to restore the normal access to services that we so enjoy. While Central Texas is in recovery for the foreseeable future. This is going to take some time to get cleaned up to get people back in their homes that have suffered significant damage, um, businesses that have experienced some uh, significant damage as well, they're not going to be in operation for a while. And city leaders remind everyone about the power of resiliency and support. We have observed neighbor helping neighbor, neighbor helping friends, and neighbors helping strangers. The biggest takeaway from all of this, stay home if you can. We are bringing you the pictures, the videos, and just the image of what happened from this storm last night. And just stay here. Keep updated with us to see all of that so you don't have to get out and bother our first responders trying to help all of us get back together. Guys. All right, Bailey Bates reporting live from what used to be Pignetti's. Incredible. Thank you, Bailey.